But let's get into some developments coming in now. The University Teachers Association of Ghana, Utah, have been meeting a government, that's the Labor Ministry, the Fairways and Salaries Commission, the National Labor Commission as well. There's a development just coming through. The General Secretary of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, Utah, Dr. Asante Asari, are not joins me on the telephone. Dr. Asante, good evening to you, if you can hear me. Good evening. Great. Now, we're just getting information that some agreement has been reached with government over the strike. Can you give us some details of what's happened now? Okay, thank you, and good evening to your listeners. So, you might recall that uh, we embarked on an indefinite strike on the 10th of January, and uh, due to... Uh, Meeting with the neck of Utah, we also suspended the strike temporarily on the 21st of February. And during the course of these events, uh, we met several uh, people and organizations. Uh, you recall that we met the Parliamentary Select Committee, uh, we met uh, former President Kufour, and then on Wednesday, this Wednesday, we also met uh, Sir Sam Jonah. And basically, it was all about the plea. And uh, on Wednesday, we met uh, government uh, to negotiate. It was a very long meeting, over five hours. And then yesterday, also, we met. And then, subsequently, the neck of Utah had to meet. And then today, also, we had to meet at the various branch level across the 15 public universities. Uh, what we can say is that uh, based upon the plea from these eminent people uh, and then also the current situation at hand, uh, we have been able to resolve uh, our differences with the employer at the moment. And uh, also based upon the assurances from the President of the Republic at the National Labor Conference that uh, he is committed to finding a lasting solution to our problem, uh, we hope that uh, the lacking solution for the issue with the university teacher and conditions of service I see. Uh, will be addressed. So this is where we find ourselves, and I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the UTAC members for uh, the issue of support. Uh, we have a very right. uh, healthy meeting this uh, afternoon, and uh, we thank them again for their support. Uh, throughout the strike action. I see. So does this mean that you have called off the strike, I mean, definitely, and you are not going back to it? You are going back to the classroom? So as it stands now, uh, first and foremost, we have been able to resolve uh, the differences that we had with the employer, one. And so uh, we will be returning to the classrooms as we already did from the previous uh, I mean, for Monday, we have already been teaching. So right. that's how it's done. I see. So if you talk about your issues being resolved, does that mean that government has agreed to pay the $2,094 that you were asking for as basic salary? Uh, as you heard me rightly, I didn't put any figures on the table because uh, uh, the figures are not meant for fig uh, media or... Right. Uh, when you meet on the negotiation table, there are a lot of things that comes into play. Okay. So I've summarized all that happened and said that as a result of uh, all these pleas in totality, uh, we have been able to have some form of uh, resolution to the impact. And I think that is what is very important that we have to emphasize now that the university lecturer is going back to the classroom to teach and our students are also going to be able to go for lectures, and I think, uh, again, we have to really thank uh, our general membership for such right. show of uh, support. Great. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Dr. Asante Asari Ano. He's the General Secretary of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG. You just heard it confirmed. News just coming in. UTAG have resolved to call off their strike indefinitely, and lectures will continue.